Hello, in this video I will show how I made these lasers for my game. I'm using the red one for aiming and the yellow one for shooting. For this video I will focus on the yellow one because that one is the most difficult. So the way this works is that they have multiple cylinders inside each other but very different face orientation. The cylinder at the center has a normal spacing to the outside while the other ones have the normal spacing to the inside. In solid mode you can't see this, but if you turn on back face culling and go to material preview mode, you can see the effect. This way it looks that there is a solid inside and there are some particles flying at the outside. So the model is just a few cylinders inside each other. There's also a taper at the bottom. So it starts small as it needs to come out of my gun. I'm using vertex colors to create masks. This way I can have a different effect for each cylinder. The red texture channel I did create with grease pencil. Normally I don't use grease pencil so this was a nice opportunity to try it out. Use draw mode to add strokes. To ensure the texture is styleable, go to edit mode. Select the top and bottom paths and align them with scale X0. Use sculpt mode to adjust the strokes. Use the grab, push and smooth brush to adjust the position. And use the thickness brush to adjust the size. You can also go to edit mode and use the radius function. Repeat step 1, 2 and 3 to add more strokes. Or go to edit mode and duplicate some strokes. Rotate or flip strokes to add more variation. Once you're done, add a plane with the right material as a background. And add an orthographic camera and render the image. For the green and blue channels, I use Blender's built-in textures. By default, these won't tile, so to make these tileable, you need to add these nodes. Make sure you use 4D and the W socket. Now you can adjust the settings. Once you're done, add a new texture. Set the render engine to cycles. And in the bake tab, select emit. Now you can use GIMP or Photoshop to pack these into one texture. We are now going to Vertex Paint to create masks. Go to Material Preview Mode. By default all the colors will be white. Don't use Mix. Instead of that, use Subtract and set the color to red. This way you will only affect the red channel. Turn off Effect Alpha. Use Edit Mode to select the parts you need to paint on. 
and turn on vertex selection masking for painting. Now we change the color to green to only affect the green channel and select face selection masking for painting. Repeat this for the blue channel. Use edit mode to select the part you need to paint on. For the alpha, it's a bit different. You need to use Erase Alpha in the brush settings. Use Edit Mode to select the parts you need to paint on. We are now ready to set everything up in our game. I'm using the Godot engine. In the shader we can set the colors. I'm using one color for the inside and two for the outside. In the fragment path we also define the alpha. This one is for the waves for the outside. Well this one is for the inside. And in the outside we also create some extra holes to add more variation. In the vertex part of the shader we can adjust the length. Because we adjusted the length we also need to scale the UVs. And here we can also define how fast the textures should move. But there is a problem. When we move the camera up, the laser disappears. This is because the bounding box is no longer visible, so the game thinks that the mesh should also not be visible. To fix that, we need to override the bounding box. We can do this in the script. We need to set the bottom left corner and the width, height and depth for the bounding box. Here 
Here we can also do some ray tracing to set the length for the laser. And after you run the scene, it will update. So this is how my laser works. I hope you like it. If you have some questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you next time.